Okay, so let's go ahead and create our destination now. Now that we've created our source, the destination we're going to be using is going to be BigQuery. Now there's one tip I can give for BigQuery since it requires a service account and they provide the credentials in the JSON format, but it's gonna want it in a string. So if you're aware of how that works, when you create a service account, you're gonna download a key essentially, and it's all gonna be in JSON. Now, the one thing with the Terraform provider that I've seen is that it doesn't really do well with providing a JSON object as a string unless you escape the spaces and whatnot properly. So here's kind of a workaround that I can give you in order to get around that. So let's head over to the Terraform provider docs and down here in the API documentation, you can see create a destination. Now from within there, we're gonna see that you can actually provide some information here. We're gonna go down to the BigQuery one, and here is where you would load up your credentials JSON. Now from here, what I would do is I would go over to where I have my JSON key. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh, I'm gonna blur out a lot of this information. Uh, it is a sandbox environment, but just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and blur that. I'm gonna go back in there, I'm gonna paste the whole object from within there inside this text input for the credentials JSON. If we scroll down, you can see it's added the proper escape slashes here for actually inputting it. So what you can do is go ahead and just copy and paste this whole thing. And then from there, save that into like your notes app or something. And then we're gonna use that as future reference for our credentials JSON, which we're gonna need for the BigQuery destination. You're not gonna need to do this for every single destination, but that's just one note for the BigQuery one. So let's go back into VS Code here. So I have my credentials JSON already saved. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we did from within the create a source section. So we're gonna start a resource here. The one we're going to use is gonna be airbyte underscore destination underscore BigQuery. And the name of this is going to be my underscore destination underscore BigQuery. Now we're gonna create another configuration object and from there we're gonna give it all the information needed for the actual BigQuery destination. Now the first one we're gonna need is gonna be the, the client buffer size and megabytes. And we're gonna give it 15 credentials JSON. From there we're gonna say var dot credentials. Now from there we're gonna go into our variables and do the same thing that we've been doing. So we're gonna say variable. This one is gonna be credentials and the type of this is going to be of type string. The default value is going to be the credentials JSON that I have saved. So let me go ahead and grab that really quickly. I'm gonna go in here, delete all this and paste it. And then there is our credentials. Okay, so that should be good. The next one we're going to need is going to be the data set underscore ID. This one is going to be Justin underscore Stripe. That's the data set ID that I have inside of BigQuery. The next one, data set location. That one is just going to simply be US. I forgot to wrap this inside of quotations. Make sure you do that. Destination type is going to be of type BigQuery. Now the project ID is going to be the project ID that you have. And I believe ours is just going to be sandbox here. And let me give it a double check. So it's actually going to be sandbox with this number here. And then I should have a bucket. Okay, and then the last one from within the configuration object is gonna be transformation priority. And this one is going to be batch. Now, outside of the configuration object, we're gonna give it a name again. This one, um, I'm just gonna name destination BigQuery, uh, wrap that in quotes. And the last one, obviously gonna be the workspace ID, var.workspace underscore ID. So we pointed to the right one. Now we have our destination. Same thing, let me go ahead and go into here. Terraform apply. What that's gonna do is gonna give us the information back. I'm gonna say yes. It's gonna create our destination. I can go back into our Airbyte cloud now, go to destinations, and we can see destination BigQuery is now created with all the information that I just added. So the last step to all of this is going to be actually creating the connection between both of these connectors now. We have a source, we have our destination, we now need a connection. So let's go ahead and create that in the next video.